Not even sure why I have that on. But, we're back. You know, it's been a couple of days. Just wanted to take a little rest from, you know, I'm talking about these games in detail a little bit. Um, but we're back, baby. Time to preview the Sweet 16. You know, it's been a busy last week on this channel. Um, it's been a lot happening with um, the boys. And of course, March Madness being here, you know. It's all good and dandy. Oh, man. Uh, let's just get started real quick. Let's talk about these games that happened on March 24th. That was a Sunday. It's now Tuesday. Tuesday night. It's about to be Wednesday. Um, and I'm talking about these games. Uh, Tennessee, you know, they move on to be Iowa. Um, it was not close at first, but Iowa came back. Then, boom. You know, it was all... It was all good and dandy from there, you know. Tennessee just had, just had more firepower and stuff like that. They just had, they just did enough. Uh, North Carolina, they beat Washington, wasn't even close. Not even gonna really talk about that. Duke and, and Taco Fall, you know, that was a really good, really interesting game. You know, just when you think UCF had Duke knocked out of the tournament, nope, ref ball, nope, Zion. No parent. Oh, it was this, it's a it's a tragedy that a team like UCF um, couldn't get to the Sweet Sixteen with with the, with the kind of with the kind of star power they have now. Talk about. I wonder if he's like a senior or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really looked into the man. I know there's videos about him coming out like right now. Um, you know, it's crazy, uh, man. Next, we got the Buffalo Bulls taking on tennis. Uh, not Tennessee, Texas Tech. And that game wasn't even close. Might as well. Ooh, it, it, it had to happen eventually. Um, Texas Tech gave Buffalo a run for their money, and you know got them out. For the, got them out. But you get Tech taking a liberty. Eh, it was all right for a little while, but didn't you know Virginia Tech pulled away. Um, same thing with Virginia and Oklahoma. wasn't really close. You know. Um, Oklahoma stayed around, stayed in the game, but ultimately Virginia, their defense was just too much. And, you know, um, Houston taking on Ohio State, uh, the Buckeyes, Yahoo Cougar basketball up in here, and th this game was close. Um, really, either Ohio State was just outmatched, couldn't defend at all. Then, you know, you got Oregon taking on UC Irvine. What? In the world, were the Ant Eaters doing in this game? It wasn't even close. It was absolutely disgusting. And now, you know, there's a Pac-12 team left in the tournament, and it's Oregon. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, UC Irvine just didn't have a chance in that game at all. So now, we got the round of 16. The sweet 16, baby. <laughs> you know, first off, Florida State is taking on Gonzaga. You know, it's going to be a real good game. You know, Florida State has, had, has played beastly this tournament. But Gonzaga, the Zags are hungry for their first title. Uh, Tennessee taking on Purdue. Um, you know, Purdue's always been a good team. They've been really interesting um, all season long. You know, uh, but Tennessee, you know, they're well coached by former Texas coach Rick Barnes. You know, it, it's going to be a it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a real good game. All these Sweet 16 matchups are going to be real good games. You know, Texas Tech taking on Michigan next. This is a Thursday game. Um, man, oh, man, oh, man. This one's also going to be interesting. You know, you, know. <laughs> you got... Oregon taking on number one, Virginia, and Virginia, who knows, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, and, you know, I might be wrong on this, but just maybe, maybe Oregon has a shot, a small shot, I think, but they, they have enough pieces to get it together, uh, but Virginia's defense is wild, they're crazy, you know, it could be real fun, 
um, for Virginia and Oregon, you know, for that game. And then, you know, you got the Friday games um, here. LSU-Michigan State didn't really have that on my radar. Very interesting game. Um, and then you got North Carolina taking on Auburn. Also a pretty interesting game, you know. Auburn having, you know, one of the, one of the, one of the, one of the best seasons in a while. And then, you know, you got Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett. And Duke taking on Virginia Tech um, next up on, on Friday night. And then um, finally Kentucky and Houston. Man, all these Sweet 16 games are going to be real interesting. Who is going to make it to the Elite Eight on Saturday and Sunday? And then after Saturday and Sunday, we got the Final Four, baby. Uh, hard to believe that... After all this, after all that, it comes down to, whew, it comes down to these 16 teams, and all the number one seeds are still in, you know, you got a 12 seed in Oregon, a pretty wild card, you know, you got some nice 3, 4, 5, and 2 seeds up in here, you know, you really, you got some really good teams in here, Oregon's really the only outlier, um, other than that, you've got all the number one seeds that are, like, basically favored in every game. You know, now, shoot, maybe the one, shoot, people want the number one seeds to go to the Final Four. That'd be, that'd be insane. Um, but, of course, you know, you got Saturday um, and Sunday. Uh, and then, of course, you know, after that. It's going to be on to the Final Four after the Elite Eight on, on Saturday and Sunday. And then next Saturday, the Saturday after this Saturday, will be the Final Four. And then that Monday night, uh, you know, second Sunday in a second Monday in April, boom, National Championship, baby. And we will see who gets all the way to the National Championship. So it's not going to be a repeat champion. It's not going to be Villanova three times in four years because Villanova already got knocked out. There will be a new champion. That is what it's going to be. Um, and there's a lot of strong teams that can make it with intimidating defenses, crazy offenses, and just all around good skill players that can shoot, that can defend, that can do whatever they need to do to keep going and go to the championship that being said everybody uh, head on out I've got don't really have any other video plans this week um, until the sweet 16 and elite 8 and after that you know final four national championship my reactions to all those games coming up in the next couple weeks um, one more thing here as I sign off. If you follow, if you should, I mean, you should follow me on Twitter. Um, um, yeah, so you should follow me. Um, there's a tweet somewhere. I don't know where it's at now because it's being, it's going to get lost in a glut of tweets. But. It's not here now, but it's coming back. Um, you know, we, we tried in, in January um, to get the NCAA series started, but it just didn't happen. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully summer we can get the summer or, or fall. You can get this bad boy on the road because I just want to get more content to you guys, um, to all those who watch this channel and everything, you know, and that's just the way to go, the way to grow uh, Big Boy Variety and the brand, you know, of what we do here, talking about sports and whatnot and all this other stuff that we speak of. Um, and if you have the time as well, um, Friday morning, I'll be doing an episode of my public access television show, The Objective Slant. 
Um, there's a playlist in my channel that links to all the episodes that are there. There's seven of them so far. It's a monthly series that I do. Um, where I usually or at least try to get people to come and get interviewed about various topics such as um, socialism, um, you know, Donald Trump, or whatever, or, you know, economic issues like, I don't know, or, or you know, just news about celebrities like R. Kelly and his situation and everything. But yeah, that being said, big boy, out. See ya.